guys, we're on the side of YouTube that is going to completely ruin your life. Well, I'm about to ruin my life. Today, we are reacting to the Rugrats theory. Guys, who doesn't love a conspiracy theory? I love them. I live off them. My whole entire world is a conspiracy theory. Do you know my favorite conspiracy theory? Life. I have come across a video on the weird side of YouTube where it completely changes your life and completely ruins your childhood called the Rugrat Theory. Apparently my life is a lie, my whole obsession over the Rugrats was a lie, and I'm about to find out why. Yo, I could be a rapper! And do not forget, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more reactions by me, and if you want to see more conspiracy theories by me, do you know what? I could rap this whole entire, this whole entire thing. My whole life was a lie. If you want to know why, keep on watching this video and subscribe. Do not go anywhere because I'm about to tell you why I'm about to tell you why I'm about to ruin your childhood hood hood get into my hood 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 okay let's do this subscribe yeah peace the rugrats really were a figment of Angelica's imagination before I go anywhere further okay wait I, I do not think I'm mentally prepared to ruin my childhood okay I am screw it let's do it what else can, what else can go wrong in this life man I love the rugrats who who if you love the rugrats comment down below there's probably a lot of people who are like what's the rugrats but it was a huge part of my life I remember it was one of the first ever games I ever played on a PlayStation 1 I friggin love the rugrats man it was it was brilliant Chucky died a long time ago along with his mother that's why Chaz is a nervous wreck all the time. Tommy was a stillborn. That's why Stu is constantly in the basement making toys for the son who never had a chance to live. The DeVilles had... As bad as this sounds, it is all making so much sense to me right now. So if you didn't know, then Angelica is like the oldest person in, in the group of the Rugrats. Okay, you've got like Angelica, Dill, Pickle, um... Uh, what, what's, what's the other ones? Chucky and... No, I've totally screwed that up. <laughs> I don't know the names of them. But Angelica is the blonde-headed girl who is literally the oldest one out of them all. So it makes sense that all these other ones are um, uh, a part of her imagination. It also could make sense the fact that Chucky died. His mum died. Um, that's why Chucky's dad is, as they said, a nervous wreck. He is constantly on edge. He is constantly like, he suffers with some major anxiety, that dude. And when you, I, I wreck, you watch it as an adult and you'd see, I, I, you can see how much of an anxiety wreck that guy is. But yeah, okay, I can see that. But Tommy being a stillbone, okay, that's pretty deep. But it also makes sense because his dad is obsessed with making, um, making toys in his basement. He built that reptile thing. Had an abortion. Angelica couldn't figure whether the it would be a boy or a girl, thus creating twins. Oh my god! Oh my god! This no, 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 no! Stop! I need to turn this. This is ruining my childhood. No. As for all grown up. Angelica was a bipolar schizophrenic who, as a teenager, became addicted to various narcotics, bringing her back to her childhood, thus creating a world in her mind that she obsessed over. Because of the time lapse between the present <laughs> and the last time that she interacted with her imaginary world, she made them older. Angelica was constantly taking hits of acid so that she would never have to live without her creations. To her. I'm actually really sad. This is ruining my friggin' childhood. I didn't, I didn't enjoy all grown up. It didn't last for me. I'm pretty sure it got discontinued before it even started. There was, they only made like a handful of episodes. I really didn't enjoy all grown, all grown up, but it was, it was there. It was good. It was, it, I could see the sense of it. Everyone wanted to see what these rugrats would look like grown up. So yeah, I can see that, but my childhood, my friggin' childhood. Her creations were her only companions in a judgmental world. Angelica's mother actually died of a heroin overdose. Angelica was schizophrenic and bipolar because she was a crack baby. Additionally, Drew, in his depression, married a gold-digging whore. She was a friggin' crack baby. What is going on right now? I really, I, I don't know what is going on right now. I feel like I'm on crack right now. I have no idea what is going on. Oh my God. 
that Angelica idolized because she fooled herself into thinking that it was her real mom. However, she always had a concept of her mother, Cynthia. She used a Barbie doll to mirror her birth mother's image, wearing an unwashed orange dress and jacked up hair. That's why the doll, Cynthia, is so like run down. She has three spikes of hair. She is literally stinking. Oh my God. I have the chills. I have the chills. My, I, my hairs are standing up, guys. I have hairs on my arm that is standing up like this tall right now. Oh my friggin' Jesus. Oh my God. They could have put a warning at the beginning of this video. Which is why she was so attracted to it. Later in life, she followed in her mother's footsteps, dying of an overdose at 13, when all grown up was cancelled. The only rugrat not to be fictional, however, was on- Oh! I- Oh, no! No, 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 no! I literally, my body, I have, I have the weirdest shivers going over my body right now. This is friggin' weird. What? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my friggin' god. Holy crap on a stick. Holy crap in Johnny Depp's bed. Oh my god. Unborn Tommy's brother, Dill. However, Angelica didn't know the difference between Dill and her creations. Dill didn't follow her commands. And after endless crying and a refusal to disappear like the others did when Angelica was angry with them, she hit him. After she hit him, he screamed a screeching tune and Stu ran in and pulled his niece off of his only child. But it was too late. Dill had a brain hemorrhage, which resulted in a deformation. As he grew up, his damage only became more evident. And by the time he was nine and all grown up, he lived as an outcast, being ridiculed for his weirdness and retardation. The immense guilt over this. I liked Dill in All Grown Up. I, I liked him. He wasn't an outcast. I get. Oh my god. Ho holy crap. Oh my god. My life is a lie. I, I'm, am I in assimilation? Am I fake? Am I fake right now? My life is a lie. This is what caused Angelica to start using the drugs and to uncreate the Rugrats briefly until her experience with hallucinogenics. Chaz lost his mind after the death of his first wife and was in denial that she was ever a prostitute. On a trip to Paris to find love, Chaz <laughs> fell in love with a hooker named Kira. He was originally going to marry a different woman, but she just wanted <gasps> him for his- I love that movie when they all go to Paris. I friggin' love that movie. That was like one of my favorite movies as a cat. It was an orange, orange um, videotape. I remember it. It was an orange videotape and it said, um, Rugrats go to Paris or Rugrats Paris and like that. I loved it. Oh my God. They had them big, like big reptile things and they were like going through it. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Oh, you're ruining it. You might, I don't even know if I can continue my life anymore after this video. My, my life has been a lie. Money. Kira once had a daughter named Kimmy, but the baby was torn from her by the police due to her cocaine addiction. Angelica imagined Kimmy from Kira's stories. Upon returning to America, Chaz and Kira married, and she got her green card. It was a surprisingly happy and romantic story. Kira continually struggled with addiction, but was relatively happy with her new life with Chaz. Susie was Angelica's only friend who entertained the thoughts of Angelica's creation because they seemed to make her happy. She later became a psychologist and teamed with Nickelodeon to make the Rugrats. When Angelica died of the overdose, Susie helped arrange her funeral. Because of her addiction and her mental state, Angelica was expelled from society, which led to a break with reality and her eventual death. She spent the last... Okay, okay, okay. I really hope, I really, really, really hope this is not true. I really hope this is not true because if it is, one is sad, it is really sad. And to, be, and to go to Nickelodeon and be like, look, I have a, I have a kids TV program ready for you from a client that recently died from an overdose and she was psychotic and she was seeing things. Oh my 
God. Do you know what? You can actually make a TV programme about anything, right? But they decided to make a TV programme about a kid who died at the age of 13 from an overdose and was psychotic and schizophrenic and seeing things, seeing like imaginary kids. Oh my God. Last days of her life in the back of the school cafeteria imagining friends around her and playing with the lives oh. of her creations. You know, if that's true, I act, that's really sad. Someone commented on one of, on the video and said, isn't Angelica addicted to cookies? It, that could be the drugs and the acid that she can't live without. What? Okay, so... I've just ruined my childhood. I've just ruined my life. Rugrats was fake. Well, the Rugrats were, weren't fake, but they were built on an... Oh my, I, I don't even know how my brain can process this right now. I've just learned that Angelica made up the entire situation of the Rugrats because she was a crack baby. She also, she was schizophrenic and all this kind of crazy stuff inside her head. Her mother was her doll. She, she... She died at the age of 13 from an overdose. That's when the all grown-ups got discontinued. She stopped for a while after the Rugrats... The Rugrats stopped. Then she said it stopped. She'd done something. And then she started taking acid, which led to all grown-up. What the friggin' hell is going on in my head? I really don't... I don't... I, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> why am I watching this video? Why? Why? I have goosebumps and chills all over my body right now. I've just ruined my friggin' life. I've just ruined my childhood. Do you know what? I was going to introduce the Rugrats to my nieces. No, no, that thing is, whoa, if this is true, Nickelodeon, man, Nickelodeon, you was my life as a child. I loved you, Nickelodeon, as a child. But oh my God, what else are you lying about? If you made Rugrats of a schizophrenic 13 year old who died from an overdose of drugs at the age of 13, got outcasted and God knows what else, that poor child. If you made a, a TV program about that, about that, then what else are you lying to us about? I am 24 years of age. I watched Rugrats when I was like five. I watched Rugrats when I was like growing up. I love the Rugrats. Now I'm being told that it was a lie and a, and, and a messed up, program oh my god okay guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you want to see more conspiracy theories like this there's a load of them spongebob family guy uh disney the, my whole entire life apparently if you want to see more of these let me know down below and i will do more of these i hope you enjoyed this video check out my social medias down below check out all the links down below you can even go over and support me on my patreon it helps so much everything that all the money off that I get off Patreon goes back into my channel to help my channel grow every single day. Guys, I love every single one of you. Be beautiful. Be yourself. Do not fall for TV programs and be careful what you watch because apparently our life is a lie. I love you all. Peace. Bye, guys.